Now start with chapter 4 motion in a plane part 2nd class 11 physics. In motion in a plane first multiplication of vectors by a real number. When we multiply a vector suppose a by a real number suppose lambda then we get new vector along, along the direction of a vector a that means direction a vector ki vector a ki direction mein hoga if we multiply vector a with negative real number suppose minus lambda then we get a vector whose magnitude is lambda times the magnitude of a but opposite to the vector a a ke kya hai opposite direction mein hoga so lambda a is equals to lambda a and minus lambda bracket a is equals to minus lambda a example suppose lambda is equals to 3 or minus 4 we get 3a or minus 4a this is 4a and 3a and 4 minus 4a is opposite in the direction now resultant vector in resultant vector the single vector which produces the same effect as two or more vectors combinedly produces single vector kya hai? produce karega same effect ko जो हमारे two या फिर उससे ज़्यादा vectors combinedly produce करेंगे। First case, when two vectors are acting in the same direction, let x and y in the same direction. X vector और y vector same direction में तो resultant vector क्या होगा? R is equals to x plus y. But if in opposite direction, then x is direction mein hai and y is ke opposite direction mein to kya hoga ye kya hoga r is equals to x minus y if y greater than x direction of r is along y addition of vectors two vectors can be added if both of them are of same nature both same nature ke honge to kya hua aapas mein add ho jayenge like first case is triangle law of addition in triangle of addition, if two vectors can be represented both in magnitude and direction by the two sides of a triangle taken in the same order, the resultant of represented both in magnitude and direction by third side of the triangle. Triangle ki third side jo hogi taken in the opposite order. Suppose two vectors mar pas A or B hai, to uski jo third line hogi opposite uske order mein like here opposite third r third line where r is equals to a plus b he kya hoga resultant hoga so resultant of a and b is o n here o n is equals to o m o m and m n where r is equals to a plus b parallelogram law of vector addition if two vectors acting on a particle at the same time are represented in the magnitude and direction by two adjacent sides, two adjacent sides only like OP, OR of a parallelogram drawn from a point, they are resultant by the diagonal of the parallelogram. Diagonal jo hoga, ye diagonal drawn from the same point. So point OP, OR and diagonal kya hoga? R, A plus b so oq is equals to o q is equals to op and or which is r is equals to a plus b next is polygon law of vector addition in polygon law of vector addition when number of vectors are represented in the magnitude and direction by sides of a open polygon hoga taken in an order their resultant both in magnitude and direction by the closing sides. Jo closing sides hogi, suppose ye mari closing sides hogi of a polygon taken in opposite order. Like ye direction hai, iski closing sides ye hogi, ye wali. So in OP, PQ, MPR and RT, here resultant is R is equals to A plus B plus C plus D starting from point O to Q and O to R. 
subtraction of two vectors in subtraction of two vectors where a vector and b vector both in up same direction r is equals to a plus minus b is equals to a minus b is ka kya hai vectors are negative because in addition of vector symbol is this but in subtraction these are crossing each other so subtraction of vectors does not follow commutative rule like a plus b a minus b is not equal to b minus a and also not follow associative law resolution of vectors any vectors in a plane can be represented by resultant of two vectors the splitting of vectors into its component known as resolution of vectors vectors ka split hona उसके कंपोनेंट्स में तो उसको क्या कहते हैं रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ वेक्टर्स लाइक टू वेक्टर्स हमारे पास ए एंड बी सो सपोज वेक्टर ए एंड वेक्टर बी एंड पॉइंट आर ओ पी विच इज पॉइंट रिप्रेजेंटेड ए एंड रिप्रेजेंटेड बी देन रेक्टेंगुलर रिजोल्यूशन प्लेन कैन बी रिजोल्व इन टू टू कंपोनेंट्स अलॉन्ग एक्स एंड वाई बिकॉज इन टू टू डायमेंशनल In two dimensional, we have x and y. So a x is equals to a cos theta, a y is equals to a sin theta. Here, point we have plane a x and a y i vector j vector a x a y here theta and resultant is a. Then a is equals to under root a x square plus a y square, where tan theta is equals to a y by a x. in three dimensional we have x y z plane we have alpha beta gamma ax ay and az here x is equals to a cos alpha ay is equals to a cos beta and z is equals to a cos gamma a is equals to ax i vector ay j vector plus az k vector so magnitude a is equals to under root x square ay square plus az square let equation first and position vector small r se represent karte hain so x i vector y j vector and z k vector we have cos alpha is equals to ax upon ax square plus ay square plus az square let l so cos gamma let m and cos cos beta m and cos gamma n then putting the values of cos alpha cos beta and cos gamma in equation first after putting these values we get cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equals to 